What is up, my cranky crew? It's either for Crank Gameplays, and today we're in a game called Fuzzy. Let me just press run game real quick. Uh, this is a game, it's one of those, uh, I played a game called, I think it was called Moral Machine back in the day. This is a game that is very similar, so you have a self-driving car, and I guess there's, like, no brakes kind of thing, so you have to react, so there's gonna be obstacles in your way, and you have to sort of, it's a moral dilemma, it's like, no one can live while the other survives kind of thing or what uh, is that how it I can't remember <laughs> But you have to kill someone uh, So it's very you really gotta think with this one. Am I controlling it? Ooh, okay So what we have here this car is right here. We have a van overtaking punish irresponsible behavior The car on the other lane is a prioritized safe driver or do not choose Oh, see this one. This is the kind of game where you have you have to make a decision. So it's like, all right, if the van is overtaking, I'm going to punish the irresponsible behavior. Uh, so and also we also die, I think. <laughs> okay, there we go. So ooh, it gives us answers. So 16% did not choose. 37% chose the car in the other lane, and 47%. So a majority of people chose the van. Let's go to the next one. I hope that there's no dogs or anything. There is a person! Okay, person crossing the street. Prioritize driver safety. Punish irresponsible behavior. Drive in the other lane. Take into account vehicle protection levels. Okay, I'm gonna go into the other lane because it says take account, uh, take into account vehicle protection levels. So that means that, like, the airbag could go off and, like, people could be saved. Well, the other one Probably not, so I'm gonna go on the right! I'm gonna go on the right. If I did nothing, I think it probably would have hit the person. Did any- it, do we know? Okay, so 59% chose the car in the other lane. Uh, I wish that we knew, like, what the actual outcome was. As far as, like, who- who actually dies. Okay, so... We have three people here. Crowd crossing the street, punish irresponsible behavior, so I'm assuming they're not supposed to be crossing there. Uh, person crossing the street, fewer people in danger, or do not choose. I'm gonna choose! See, in my mind, I mean, I don't want anyone to die, but in a scenario where someone has to die, I'm going to choose the lesser of deaths. So the least amount of people to die, unless it becomes a thing where it's like, people that I know, or my family or something. That's a whole other thing. That would be such an insanely hard decision. Like, if people had to die, and it was like, you have to kill a hundred people, or like, a hundred people are going to die, or like, my parents are going to die. Like, even though it's two versus a- even if it was two versus a million, or ten bill uh, like, I- it would be so horrible! SO HORRIBLE! Because at least with the, like, hundred people dying, you probably don't know who they are? So at least there's that- it doesn't make it any better, but anyway, that's not the scenario right now. I'm going to prefer- Prefer fewer people in danger, so I'm gonna hit the person crossing the street. Oh, I'm so sorry. Your body turned to stone as soon as I hit you. All right, so 61% chose the person crossing the street. I feel like I'll be in the majority of as far as what people choose because I, I feel like people have mostly the same kind of thinking. Uh, person on the sidewalk or car running a red light. Punish irresponsible behavior to take into account vehicle protection levels. Okay, I'm gonna hit that car, because it did run a red light. I'm not gonna- if that were happening- uh, See, it's hard to say, because in that kind of situation, like, if I was driving, and someone ran a red light, and there was a person standing on the side of the road, I probably would accidentally hit them. Like, I think my, like, knee-jerk reaction would be to- to swerve out of the way. Like, I don't- I don't think that I would have the time in my mind to make a decision of there's a person there, I'm going to kill them if I hit them with my car. Or if I don't swerve out of the way. Like, I don't- I don't think that I would be able to make that decision. I think it would be very, like, all of a sudden then it's like, oh fuck, there was a person there. I don't think that I would be able to make that actual- to make an actual decision. I think it would just happen. Alright, what do we got this time? We have a car coming, or the crowd crossing the street. Prefer fewer people. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna almost always do the car because there is a level of protection. It doesn't seem like the cars are going that fast, so I feel like it's probably fine, maybe? I don't know how many people are dying here. Oh boy, okay. So we have prioritize driver safety, crowd on the sidewalk, or punish the irresponsible behavior 
prefer fewer people in danger taking into account. Okay, yeah, car running the red light for sure because then you don't kill three people. I do want to get a scenario where I genuinely will do like, uh, see, 82% hit the car. I do want to get a situation where, oh no, it's a child. Oh no! Prioritize children's safety taken into account. Okay, I'm going to prioritize the, the child's safety. That is a tough decision. I want to get one where it's it's too close to call, so I just see, let it go and see what happens. <gasps> oh no! There's a dog crashing the street! I have to I have to hit the car. I cannot hit that pup. I cannot, I cannot. They don't, especially like kids and dogs. People know that they shouldn't cross the street without looking both ways, or they shouldn't go when they're not supposed to. But kids and dogs, they don't know any better, especially dogs! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so for this one, there's a wall. You don't see the person coming, then they suddenly jump out. I'm going to crash into the wall. Hopefully I don't, uh, die. That'd be bad. Alright, next one. Come on, give me a- give me a real toasty one. See this, I'm just gonna hit the- hit the car again. Give me something new, give me something exciting! I wanna feel the rush of adrenaline! I wanna feel like I'm behind that wheel! Alright, so we have a crowd crossing the street or a person on the sidewalk. See, the person on the sidewalk isn't- I'm gonna say do not choose. Oh, so if you don't choose, then it automatically goes into the front. Oh, I see. So it, uh, it, you won't, most likely in all of them, you won't actually turn. You'll just keep going in the direction that you're going. Why did everything stop working? Okay. Oh, okay. Child crossing the street. Punish irresponsible behavior. Person on the other lane prioritize. I'm going to prioritize the child's safety. God, why do the brakes not work on this car? They kind of, they do! You can hear the squealing of the brakes! The brakes work! Just brake faster! Ah, oh, God. Punish irresponsible. Is it irrespon- I mean, I guess it's irresponsible, but it's also ignorance. Kids don't know! I mean, they should know, because their parents should be teaching them, but a lot of them don't know! They don't think about these things! Oh, okay, so here- Here is a, an interesting situation. So, there's an ambulance overtaking. And there's a car on the other side of the lane. See, this one, the ambulance overtaking, punish irresponsible behavior, it's probably irresponsible behavior on my part. Because they're- they're probably crossing over. I mean, their sirens don't appear to be on, but you gotta yield to those, uh, those emergency vehicles. And so, if it's doing that, ah, uh, I'm going to... Shit. I mean, there's no emergency lights on. Here's- here's my reasoning. There's no emergency lights on. It's- it's a very large vehicle, so it's probably got some armor on it. I'm going to- I'm gonna not choose. I wish that it wouldn't tell you which way it would go <laughs> immediately, but I- I think that everyone should be fine. So 75% chose the car in the other lane. Wow, okay. And 7% didn't choose. Ambulance overtaking was 18%. See, we're getting to the thick of it here. I wonder how long this goes on for- like how many levels there are, or if it's randomly generated. I don't know. Alright, so, we got the crowd crossing the street. We got crashing into a wall. I'm gonna crash into the wall again. It's just me. It's just me. I'd like to think that in a scenario where it's like, okay, a hundred people will die or you die, I'd like to think that I would choose, uh, to die. But honestly, I was thinking about this the other day, like, I don't, because what was I, there was something specific that, that was happening. Oh, I think it was, I can't remember what I was listening to, but like, someone had to like, cut their own arm off or something. Uh, and I was like, and you don't, you don't know until you're in that situation, but, I, and let me know what you think, but I don't know if I would have, like, the willpower to cut my own arm off in, like, in a different situation. I don't know if I would have the willpower to, like, to be, like, kill me instead because my natural instinct is to survive. Do you know what I mean? My natural instinct is to survive and not, like, harm myself. But in that situation, like, I would be cutting off my arm to save myself, but there's so much pain, I don't know! Ah! Someone else would have to, like, pin me down and cut my arm off. For some reason, I needed my arm to be cut off. Alright, we got a car. I'm going to crash into the car. Am I? Because I'm still gonna get hurt. So, no, I'll crash into the wall. Because I'm still gonna get hurt if I crash into that car. So, you know. Oh, no. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to hit the person. 
I'm going to hit the person. I'm sorry, person, but the dog was doing nothing wrong and you were. And dogs can never do wrong. So even if the dog was crossing the street, I still would have hit you because dogs can do no wrong. I'm sorry. Yep, same here. Car running the red light immediately. I don't even have to think about it. See, this is where it's going to get tough. It's going to throw a bunch of dog scenarios. Okay, see, this is where it starts to get easier after a while. I'm going to hit the person over the child. I'm going to hit the person over the dog. I'm going to hit the car over the child, whatever. Oh, I did all of them. Okay, so your choices. Prefer fewer people in danger. Prioritize driver's safety. Zero out of 14. Uh, punish irresponsible behavior. Six out of 18. Prioritize child safety. Four out of four. Take into account vehicle protection levels. Eight out of eight. Prioritize people over animals. <laughs> None of them. None of them. <gasps> All right. Well, suggest question. Oh, I don't want to email you. All right, guys. Well, I am going to end this one here. This stuff is very interesting. Let me know what your thoughts are on the things that I said, you know, about like people, uh, like willpower and stuff like that. And like, would, do you think you would be able to like cut your own arm off in a situation or like if you had to choose between like a, a loved one and like more people? It's very, very hard. And again, like I've said a billion times, like you don't really know until you're in that scenario, but I feel like in those kind of scenarios, I think I would freeze up and just not be able to do anything. Like I think I would just be like, ah, I can't, I can't do it, sorry. So, anyway, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to slap that like button right in the face. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Stay cranky. Bye. What is up?